we're all vlogging, which is very ridiculous. Welcome back, or if you are new, welcome here to my channel in general, and welcome to one of the first videos for my 12 days of Vlogmas challenge that I'm doing. Today, this vlog is kind of special because it's a special day, a special Saturday. I am going to have a small meetup with a couple of other YouTubers here in Seoul. We're all part of like this bigger YouTubers in Korea group chat and uh, a couple of us were like, hey, let's just meet up, let's be friends, let's sit together in a cafe get to know each other. So that's very exciting and very fun. It's gonna be quite great to make friends with these people. So I'm gonna film a little bit of that for you guys. We're meeting up in a cafe called 89 Mansion. So you guys will see that. And later tonight, Andy and I are going to a VVIP club event. I don't think I'll film too much there because I can't imagine a club is a good environment for filming, but I'll tell you guys about it later because uh, maybe we'll meet a rapper? I don't know, that was kind of teased. But I did see a famous R&B singer in public two days ago, and I'm gonna talk about that later too, because like, I'm not over it yet. I'm really not over it yet. I, he was so close to me. So yeah, stay tuned for meeting other YouTubers, maybe meeting a rapper later tonight, and the famous R&B singer that I was kind of sitting next to a couple nights ago without fully realizing it. Yes, so I have to get going now. Let's head over to the Shinsa area and meet some other YouTubers. Woo! We found it. This is in the Gangnam Garsugil area, which I am not familiar with. I don't live near here. And we're all vlogging, which is very ridiculous. Very funny to me. And they're ready for Christmas, which is cute over here. It's. I'm officially ready to be ready for Christmas. When they were playing like Christmas songs in Starbucks, like November 1st, I was not ready. <laughs> But now it's okay. Oh, the Hallmark. This is so extra. It's so Honestly, nice. because like when I'm with my friends, I hate like when I always like <laughs> am videoing and like taking pictures of stuff. We're really being the most. Okay, for so for some reason we got free drinks. I don't know what the hell's happening, but he just came up and was like, "Here you go." Look how cute this bathroom is. It's so pink with this pink tile. It's so nice. All right guys, so um, I obviously didn't film a whole lot. We were chatting and it was great. It was so much fun. And now we're all actually gonna go back to our apartments slash one girl um, has an Airbnb. And we're gonna get ready for the club event tonight. And um, we'll see what I can show you guys from the club. I'm not counting on like good lighting or anything like that. But the weekend continues, so I'm going to head home now and change out of my civilian clothes into some club clothes. I don't go clubbing a whole lot. Actually, I have not been clubbing in three years. But I am going to try to have fun today. All right, <laughs> almost at the club. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to the club. Mm -hmm. 
First snow, if you can kind of see against the darker bricks of the building next to us. I'm heading to the convenience store now to pick up some coffee and a new toothbrush because I don't know, are you guys like this? Whenever I'm sick, I feel like I need to go out and buy a new toothbrush. I know some people have the same toothbrush for like months and months, but I just had a cold and I don't know, I'm just weird. Like I feel like every time I get sick and then I get better, I need a new toothbrush. Maybe that's standard, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just totally normal, but for some reason I feel like I'm weird for doing this. All right, I'm gonna get my stuff and I'll check back in with you guys and we're gonna talk about famous people that I've encountered recently. The big thick snow is back. So, I am ready for my day now. Although it has stopped snowing, I'm quite sad, but I'm heading out to a cafe soon because I'm actually working from home today. But before I finish this video, I need to do two things. I need to announce the winner of my giveaway, actually, my face mask giveaway, and I need to talk about my celebrity encounters, which we're gonna start with, actually. So, if we're rewinding a bit to just this past Saturday, it's Tuesday now, so three days ago, Saturday, so much fun just meeting the other YouTube ladies and kind of like bonding and that whole like small meetup thing we did was so much fun I absolutely loved it and I loved that we like all basically so we left the cafe we went home recouped met back up went to the club the club was so much fun and if we get invited to more of these events I definitely want to go because it was just like it's fun it's just fun to go with a group of other girls a group of friends and just kind of like have fun. So we were on the second floor since we were VIP and after Blue the rapper performed he was up on the second floor too and I'm not sure if any of the other YouTubers got to personally meet him but there were so many girls that just like rushed up to the second floor to take pictures of him and try to get near him that I just I didn't want to bother with that crowd so unfortunately I did not meet the rapper Blue but that's fine I'll live. Let's talk about what happened Thursday so less than a week ago I had a company dinner and we all went out as a company to this place in Itaewon. I'm not gonna say exactly what the place was if you follow me on Instagram you might have noticed I tagged the place on my story but that story is long gone and I don't want to like blow up this person's spot because you know, he's just out here living a private life. Like, he's allowed to, even though he's very famous. So, like, basically we were out eating, and I was not paying attention to the other table next to us. Because, like, I'm with my company. We're having a company dinner. Why would I pay attention to people that I thought were strangers? And, um, as I start to, like, look at them more, I say to the other one girl in our group, I, like, look at the one, and I say, he kind of looks like Dean. And she goes, that is Dean. And we just like had this moment of like intense staring at each other. Like we're sitting 20 feet away from Dean. If you guys don't know who Dean is, what? I guess his most famous song right now is Instagram, but I know him best for Half Moon. I loved Half Moon so much. I played that on repeat obsessively. Dean is so cute, first of all, and he's so talented. His voice is just like the voice of an angel, and he's very, very well known in Korea, and I do think he has a bit of an international audience, but she was basically like, I didn't tell you because I didn't think you would know who he was. And I was like, didn't, don't know who he was? Like, that's Dean, like who doesn't know who Dean is? Oh my God, I am I getting red? I am like getting so excited just remembering it. So basically because we're cool and calm and respectful people, 
we just sat back and like occasionally looked at him to be like, oh my God, that's Dean. And it was just like very kind of comforting to see what a normal person he was. Like I actually texted Andy, I was like, Dean is in this restaurant. And Andy went, what is he doing? But what is he doing? I was like, he's eating with his friends. Like he was just being a normal person. Like he's a totally average height. He just has a totally like chill vibe. And I mean, nothing about him screamed like privileged celebrity. Like, oh, don't look at me. Don't touch me. Like, oh, we can't sit by other normal people. Totally, totally acting like a normal dude. It was almost like comical how normal he was. But I mean, that's a good point, isn't it? Celebrities are normal people too. They should be allowed to just go out with friends and eat. And even if people recognize them, we didn't want to go up and bother him. He's eating with friends. So I don't know. It was just very, very cool. I can't believe I get to say now that I saw Dean in public. And of course, Andy was like, did you go say hi? Did you introduce yourself? Like, no, like, yeah, it would be cool to get a picture with him, but I didn't want to bother him. Again, he's eating with friends. So I know that's not like a hugely fascinating and exciting story, but I saw Dean in public, so I mean, I'm still not over it. It is now time to pick the winner of my first giveaway. So I have this cute little spin wheel thing that I found online. I'm gonna film my screen so you guys can see. I have the names of everyone that submitted like giveaway comments, entries, and I'm gonna just hit the little button and it's gonna randomly pick a name. Let's pick our winner! Okay, here we go. Winner of my first giveaway. What do I, what do I press here? Go, <gasps> there it goes. There it goes. Here we go. That's wild. You, I mean, plenty of you. I recognize your comments. I recognize how often you're engaging with my posts and my other social media activities. There's quite a few of you that I've really come to know by name. Kristen, you are absolutely one of them. So I'm really happy that you actually won. This is like amazing. I actually started laughing because I thought the name Oregano Baby was gonna be chosen and like that name really cracks me up. But like, Kristen, okay, we already message all the time on Instagram. Uh, I'll just let you know you won. Congratulations. Phenomenal. All right, guys. So uh, let me end the screen recording, actually. Hold on. Wow. All right, guys. Well, that's been this video. Um, the next Vlogmas video, I am getting my bangs cut. It is time. I know some of you were like, oh, Rachel, please grow out your bangs. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, get rid of those bangs, blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay. Sometimes I looked good in longer bangs. I can't do it anymore. I cannot. I need my little bangs back because you know what? My number one goal at all times just living my daily life is to not have hair in my face. And you know what happens when your bangs are this length? It's always in your face. I can't do it anymore. When they're cut above my eyebrows, they're not in my face. So yeah, Friday, I'm going to see my good buddy Dean. I'm finally getting my hair cut and I will see you guys then. I will be in Hongdae. So you have um, two days basically to let me know if there's a certain cafe you want me to film in Hongdae because I'm going to get my hair cut in the morning and then I'm going to work from home, work from a cafe in Hongdae. So if you have a cafe that you really want me to kind of visit and film for you guys, let me know. Otherwise, I'm picking it myself. So yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching this time. Bye bye.